I've been having so much fun creating Google Jamboard jams. And one of the things I've come up with is using scratchers to create some mystery choice. So it's like a choice board, but they have no idea what the choices are. So we have this scratchers idea, which you can use for so many things. This is a generic template you can create however you want. So you'll notice when you make a copy of the scratchers jam, I have a little sample here for you to see how this works. I have something in this circle, and if I use the eraser, now the eraser tool is over here in the Jamboard Jam toolbar. It is the second option here, and if I just start to erase, you can see that it creates this scratcher to reveal what is underneath. Now when I go to the next page, you see I have a sample of what your grid of scratchers might look like and they could be square or round. And the way that you get this sample is to go to alicekeeler.com slash badge grid. alicekeeler.com slash badge grid. So you're gonna make a copy. Now you're gonna wanna wait for the code to load. So you'll see up here it says make badges that will probably not show up right away. So you're gonna make badge grid or make square badges. I'm gonna choose the make badge grid and you see it's gonna over on the, first I gotta authorize it. So that's true for all of my stuff. Now authorizing is a one-time process. Once you authorize it, you can keep using this Google Slides over and over and over again. And what it's really doing is just duplicating that grid, but it's changing the colors up every time. So you can see here that I've got a lot of greens, so I can come back up to make badges and I make a badge grid and it gives me a new one with different colors. You can see that the colors are different. You can do this as many times as you want. So I would just go ahead and save this Google Slides in your Google Drive. I mean, it's in your Google Drive anyway, but you know, organize it someplace. And you should only have to go to alicekeeler.com slash badge grid one time and authorize it one time. Now the idea here is I wanna make scratchers. So here on the Google Slides, what I wanna do is make text or pictures. I'm gonna add a Bitmoji onto some of them. Bitmoji, and I'm gonna put some text on here. Now I actually have this, you can't tell, but the size of the slide is actually really big. And the reason for that is it makes it a lot clearer and sharper in the jam. So it's proportionally correct, it's just really actually very large so that when you download it as an image, the image is much more clear and sharp as opposed to the normal 960 by 540 pixels, which is great. Google Slides is a great dimension for putting into a jam. But if you make the custom size of the page larger, you can't tell that it's larger because it's proportional, but it's bigger so it shrinks down a little nicer to put into jam. So notice that when I add some text boxes onto this, I'm gonna add a text box and I start typing, it's infinitely small. I just like, can't see that. So I'm just gonna up this size, like size 70, size 90, 100 point pixels. I'm just gonna need to make the text larger. It is fine, it works good. So alicekeeler.com and wow, come on, let's move this over here. That's why Jam's so great. The, Dragging things around on a Jamboard is much nicer than trying to drag them on Google Slides. Also, I would be zoomed in a little bit more probably trying to make this. Okay, right, I'm gonna add some more text. I'm gonna add a text box in here. And again, I wanna make the font larger. So I make this 100, I'll say free day. And I'm actually gonna use Control D to duplicate this since I already made the font bigger. So I can put in something like, um, game of choice, you know, whatever it is that you want to put on all of the dots, you could put text, you could put images, whatever you want, but then the key is to use the file menu, and you go file, and you're going to choose download. So we're in the file menu, we're going to go to download, and I choose to use JPEG. So I'm going to download this as a JPEG image, and back over in the jam, since I used the round scratchers, you'll see that this is 
the template for square scratchers. This one on frame five is the template for round scratchers. So what I want to do is I want to change the background. Now this was created, these scratchers were created with my alicekeeler.com slash badge grid. And so what that makes it happen is all of the spots line up and are in the same place. So what you see here is when I erase this, it's totally blank. There's nothing underneath it. But when I set the background, and I'm just going to add in the one I just downloaded from the Google Slides. All right, and I didn't have anything in that one. Um, where did I put, there we go, there was my Bitmoji. And then all those things that are hidden underneath, all you have to do is swap out the background. So notice if I have this other one, let me put some different Bitmojis on here. I'm just going to do it randomly and it'll be quick. All right, put some Bitmojis on here. Normally put challenges or ideas, um, question choices, like you could just put a different math problem in each circle or each square. I'm going to file, download, I'm going to download it as a JPEG so that when I set the background and I change the background to what I just downloaded from the Google Slides, you'll see that now behind the images is the bitmojis or text or whatever you put there. So what you would do is you would share this with students with the scratchers and they just use the eraser tool to reveal what's underneath them. If I could remember where I put these, some of these have stuff in them. Not this one, this one had nothing. Uh, so let's download this one again. And so I'm gonna set this background back to the way I had it. So as you swap out the background, there we go. You see that I now have revealed with the scratcher that free day, the alicekeeler.com, or my bitmoji. And just swapping out the background allows this scratcher template to work. Now, if you've used the round one, you only need the round one. So you would go ahead and delete all the other frames in the template. So I'm just going to delete all of those because I do not need them. I don't need any of these. Now, I've scratched off some of these to show it to you, but obviously you give it to kids with nothing scratched off so they can reveal the mystery of their choice.